Infertility is a common issue that can affect so in pig farming. This can lead to reduced productivity, poor economic returns, and potential welfare concerns. In order to prevent and manage infertility, it's important to understand the various factors that can cause it. Factor number one, age and body condition. One of the most common factors that can cause infertility in sows is age and body condition. As sows age, their reproductive performance can decline. Older sows may have more difficulty becoming pregnant and may have smaller litters. Additionally, sows that are in poor body condition also have reduced fertility. This can occur due to nutritional deficiency or other health issues that affect overall health. Nutrition. Proper nutrition is essential for maintaining reproductive health in sows. A lack of certain nutrients can lead to infertility or other reproductive problems. For example, a deficiency in vitamin E or selenium can cause reduced fertility or abortion in sows. Additionally, sows that are overfed or underfed can also experience fertility issues. Overfeeding can lead to obesity, which can negatively affect productive performance. On the other hand, Underfeeding can cause sores to lose weight and have difficulty becoming pregnant. Disease. Disease is a significant factor that can cause infertility in sores. Several diseases can negatively impact reproductive health in sores, leading to reduced fertility rate, abortion, stillbirths, and other reproductive problems. The following are some common diseases that can affect sore fertility. Porcine reproductive and respiratory syndromes or PRRS. PRRS is a viral disease that can cause respiratory and reproductive problems in sores. In pregnant sores, PRRS can cause abortion, stillbirths, and reduced litter sizes. The virus can also cause infertility in non pregnant sores by affecting the quality and quantity of their eggs. Porcine sicovirus or PCV. PCV is a viral disease that can cause infertility and abortion in sores. The virus can also affect the immune system, making the sores more susceptible to other diseases. Leptospirosis. Leptospirosis is a bacterial disease that can cause abortion and stillbirth in sores. The disease is transmitted through contact with infected urine or contaminated soil or water. Brucellosis. Brucellosis is a bacterial disease that can cause abortion and infertility in sores. The disease is transmitted through contact with infected tissue or fluids such as placenta, fetal membranes, or milk. Mycoplasma. Mycoplasma is a bacterial disease that can cause reproductive problems in sores, including abortion, stillbirths, and reduced litter sizes. The disease can also cause respiratory problems and arthritis in pigs. Preventing and controlling disease in sores is essential to maintaining optimal reproductive health and high fertility rate. Proper biosecurity measures such as controlling access to the farm, preventing contact with infected animals, and disinfecting equipment and facilities can help prevent the spread of diseases. Vaccination programs can also be used to protect sores against common diseases that can negatively impact reproductive performance. Well, let us get back to the causes of infertility aside from diseases. Another cause is stress. Stress can, can be a major contributor to reduce fertility. Stressful conditions can interfere with the normal reproductive processes, making it difficult for sores to become pregnant, maintain pregnancy, or give birth successfully. The following are some common causes of stress in sores and how they can impact fertility. Stress factor number one, extreme temperatures. Sores that are exposed to extreme heat or cold stress can experience a variety of reproductive problems. High temperatures can cause a decrease in appetite, leading to weight loss and decreased fertility. Heat stress can also affect the quality and quantity of the source egg and lead to embryonic death, which can reduce the litter sizes. On the other hand, cold stress can lead to decreased feed intake and metabolic changes that negatively impact fertility. Another stress factor is overcrowding. Overcrowding can lead to stress in sores as it can result in competition for resources such as food and water. This can lead to weight loss, decreased fertility, and increased risk of disease. Overcrowding can also lead to social stress. As sores are highly social animals that require adequate space to move around and interact with each other. Social stress can interfere with the normal hormonal changes required for successful reproduction. Another stress factor is poor ventilation. Poor ventilation can lead to high levels of ammonia, 
carbon dioxide and other harmful gases in the barn or a big tree, which can cause respiratory problems in souls. This can lead to stress and decreased fertility, as respiratory issues can interfere with the normal reproductive processes. Last but not least, the stress factor of transportation and handling. Transportation and handling can be stressful for souls as they are sensitive animals that can become easily frightened or agitated. This can lead to increased level of cortisol, a hormone associated with stress, which can interfere with reproductive processes. Additionally, transportation can lead to changes in temperature, feed, and water, which can negatively impact fertility. Okay, let's get back to the other causes of infertility in souls apart from stress. That should be genetics. Genetics refers to the study of genes, the basic unit of hereditary that are responsible for passing on traits from one generation to the next. In pig breeding, Genetics play a significant role in determining the fertility of the souls. Breeders use genetic selection to improve the reproductive performance of their herd. To improve fertility, breeders select souls with high fertility rates and avoid those with a history of reproductive problems. This is done by analyzing data or reproductive performance such as litter size, birth weight, and number of piglets born alive. Souls that consistently produce large litters and have good reproductive health are selected for breeding. This helps to ensure that the next generation of piglets will have better fertility rates than the previous generation. Artificial insemination is also commonly used to improve the genetics of the herd and increase fertility rates. This involves the collection of semen for both and desirable genetic traits and then using it to inseminate souls. By using semen from genetic superior bows, breeders can increase the chances of producing piglets with desirable traits such as high fertility rates. In addition to selecting for fertility, genetic selection can also be used to improve other traits such as meat quality, growth rate, and disease resistance. This is done by analyzing data on these traits and selecting animals with the desired characteristics for breeding. Last but not least, management. Poor management practices can also contribute to infertility in souls. Proper handling during breeding and gestation, inadequate monitoring of reproductive performances, and failure to detect and treat reproductive health can all lead to reduced fertility. So should be regularly checked for signs of illness or injury, and any issue should be addressed promptly. Proper management practices can help ensure optimal reproductive performance and high fertility rate. Thank you, and please subscribe for the next video. Remember to download our free magazine and enjoy more educational content from us on Pig Farm.